Okay, take two for the LP and be alive because take. Go. Okay, first of all, explain something. I was supposed to do the first edition of LPN Classic Vlog, which was, but, but I had a laptop problem, so I could not record that. But I did post something on DeviantArt about it, so you can, hopefully, I have it in the description, or whatever you two might have it to be. But, um, but, uh, but, and, but, sorry, I could not get out that Classic Vlog, but the next, hopefully, I can keep them coming. And at the end of it, okay, well, and I did that vlog that you'll ever see, because you got lost. Yeah. You, know, you know, I did pick up that one. I'll just get what it is at the end of this one. Anyway, this week we have Pet Map, written by Guy Toom. Okay, so, main, in, the, in the main plot, this dog spaniel showed up at the pet shop, uh, run again. Um, and then the guy comes in claiming to be her owner, but after he leaves, they are really gonna expect that he is a bad guy pretending to be her owner and they have much to catch him. And then the subplot, Russell accidentally deletes his program and now a pet, other pets must reenact it for him. So, I guess subplot first. Um, <laughs> I, I heard a subplot, I thought it sounded funny, and it was. Um, you know, we are back in, for, for one thing, that is a strange thing we are, we can delete that easily because, you know, you have to, actually, this one, you have to work in order to delete it, but I guess you're the one kind, whatever, I don't want to nitpick, don't want to be choked to that, um, but it is a lot of good jokes of everyone reenacting the show. And you know, in the way in the event point we have to make stuff up and it gets crazier and crazier. And, you know, it's like it is pretty funny. It's where all the all humor comes from and it's pretty interesting, I think. Um you know, and uh, and in the end the moral is fan fiction is better than the canon. <laughs> That's your moral. That great moral for the kitty. Actually went on to the LPF sketch that fan fiction on it last night to the key. I was disappointed. Not nearly many horrific things I was expecting. Basically, not one single fanfic world could. Well, for not a big twin can get fanfic or not expecting like that other one. But yeah, I was just quite bad. the kind of thing back for now. No. Um, but. Okay, that's. I'm talking about fanfiction here. There are fanfiction in the episode, but you know. Um, a few pets make a cameo at the end, including Mary Frances. I believe Scout the one from Book and Cover, I can't remember the name. Um a couple other things that came out at the end. Um speaking of the ending, the episode ends with any nitpicking what just happened to me, but <laughs> I'm not kidding. He then he becomes kind of looking right then. They nail that. That was brilliant. <laughs> um great, yeah, very funny supply, including when you dressed like a woman because the last time Peter and Dude didn't catch a thing like a character track oh so well. Nah, here it's funny, you know, so it's like, it's fine. No ultra block them, but you know. Go, so, it'll go genuinely funny in the string. Go, plot. go, now on to, now, talking about the main plot. Um, I like the sort of angle here where it's like, playing for you know, me having, go with them here, um, because Regan, um, Anyway, Blythe and me for going to forget to own adventure, like, they, they, you know, Blythe have their own podcast, yeah, but it's like an adventure here where they have to catch a bad guy, we have to go around house, whoever bad guy gets, like, and, and it does get kind of crazy for trying to stop the bad guy and a lot of, like, you know, high energy, fake stuff, and it's actually really interesting to have her have it without the pets, to be able to have with sort of adventure without them. But it's not in the fight, it's just a big one. Like, I, I, I do got veterans before, but not, they can feel particularly interesting to me. And they can look like this, or, yeah, not a ton of jokes, but they can fun part. I do like the bad guy, he can painting. Um, I believe, um, Colin Murdoch was like free character in the episode, and I believe he's the villain guy. So that's funny because he's Ramon. <laughs> so, you might, I think it might be the first time here in episode and that. No, he will get pet down. I can't remember if he had two people come up, but I don't even know a guy to the lobby for the show. Um, in Pony, of course. Um, 
go. And it kind of get a cool adventure and badass bet, I think. Um, but that's not the most interesting part. The most interesting part is, well, the young me pet saga is resolved. Yep, they stretched it out over like two episodes. You know, they're already here. That young me had her pet, and then indeed, Nutmeg Dash. The Mega Dash, by the way, of course, by Tavis and Saint Germain, so there you go. For a one line G hack at the end. Um. Um. Yeah, the, the, the dog comes in and jumps me and you know, her I have instant connection, and that's why she wants to wreck you. And, you know, I like the Yummy Got a Pet now, you know. Yummy put it up in the code, kind of make up for last week, which she didn't care much about, but feeling in the situation. Uh, that could definitely shrunk on me in the past week, I'll say that much. <laughs> um, but, you know, hey, we kind of feeling good enough to make me forgive that. Um, so, but, yeah, at the same time, I just think maybe they could stretch out, not over, in the cup, though, because immediately we have a kind of connection. It's cute, you know, it's interesting, but it's like, you could stretch it out over the course of the episode, you know, or... You know, or put in that, or you could have combined them in some way, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's like, it does seem kind of strange to drop it, then bring up, like, some, like, ten episodes later, um, later than, you know, have them make an interconnection, I think maybe they could have had a twin, but not, you know, I don't know, it feels like, they got a little on the note, like, twin, or she even, like, Name the pet based off a few elements, you know? It's like, maybe, but I don't know. But, you know, at the same time, very touching and cute, and, you know, and the mention's not too much, um, uh, because she comes in, she's like, oh god, she can't really talk. Not that yummy would be able to stand it anyway, but, you know what I mean? Talk, thank you. Um, um, yeah, so, that might definitely do a whole lot, but I feel she might be on board, so, like, hopefully in that few weeks we'll get to see at least a little bit more of her. Hopefully it's not another thing that we have to go to. Well, the like, in Secret Recipe, they reveal secret, and then a few hours later, Pekong happened where they finally had a bit further detail on that. It's like, you know, it's like, no, and, you know, did it again here. Hopefully we'll have to wait too long to see that dash again, it's like, you know, get them a dash up here, whatever young we done. Again, good for a pet. It kind of fun, but best pet win for a character having a pet. But Tank didn't do all like Tank appeared like once or twice before Tank and memory happened to go. It's like hope, hopefully we'll be that kind of situation. Um, um, is it, I think I'm like all I have to say because what I had to say was I found a couple of funny. I thought the the uh, angle in the main part of the and the yummy thing, you know, could have been done better, but was also pretty, pretty, yeah, um, sorry, cute, you know, and it's definitely a quite the fun episode, I think, it got, it's a little slow when it comes out, like, for half, I think, but it's gonna have to pick up a lot, which we get, you know, from that moment, uh, Bob dog stuff is going to catch the kernel, Look apart where he has to, young me might have to go undercover in the sky to catch him in that, <laughs> I like that part, I don't know why, but I pulled off that look, she yeah, has there, <laughs> well, it's funny, you know, and then again, you get some good energy and good jokes, and it's a pretty cool up, but good, I'm okay, and, uh, yeah, uh, I guess my big complaint is that a little slow start, and again, young me thing could have been, I guess it could be one, how to put, immediately put to that care and I'm like, yeah, sure, but at the same time it's not that big a deal and again it's cute, so it's like I don't care. Plus gives yummy something to do. So I like that. Um <laughs> So very go bad and pet nap the guy too and, uh, keeping his role because he's been on a walk and maybe pet cow yeah that it fast um the premiere Tiny Cam Store now, and uh, they can better, I think better than Tiny Cam Store and Game of Grown, which are best good ones. I, um, yeah, it took a lot of thought, especially because when they plot and come out with the main well, plot, plot, and come out with the main plot. So, there you go. Pretty fun and enjoyable, nice episode, makeup for last week. Okay. So, 
um, get called game that we got for that that we can themed um although my DVR thing uh, the guide on my you know thing TV did not show it and they could show anything new that we go though all the schedule can ever look like cave at it again go if it, I don't know what I'm gonna do with Dragon Underground, I don't know. I don't genuinely don't know. I don't know if I cook if I do cook if I get confirmation that not then I'll hold off on that video for that week until then to replace the that that episode. Mo so I'll, I'll try to find out like we'll see. Either way with that kind of vlogging missing life. Yeah, playing on Rio didn't have a whole lot to gain to begin with for that one. To be to the um interesting. Good there you go. Um I don't know again, I'll, hopefully I'll give you that big deeper way for you to make it by fourteen, but hopefully because it's like that's you no know, okay. We're okay. Goodbye.